Hello, hello, and welcome back in for some more contradiction. Um, yeah, so last time we left off, um, we found a few contradictions here by Rebecca and uh, Emma. I think even Simon we caught in a lie. So, yeah, we don't really know who the murderer is yet, um, but I feel like all of them have lied to me, so <laughs> any of them. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and jump back in. We just hit, uh, 7pm. So, yeah. Uh, I believe he said that he finally wants to speak to Ryan. So, let's click on the wrong thing. And head up here, maybe? That. Well, that's not exactly where I meant to go. Mind not defacing public property, please. But things What's are it happening. to you? Well, I'm a policeman. And that's supposed to make what difference exactly? It means that you do exactly what I tell you to do. Or what? Or you arrest me? No, I'll give you a fine this time. So, if I do something that you don't like, I have to give you some money? What happens if you do something that I don't like? You're going to give me some money? Look! That's not how it I works. I do not have time to discuss it at the moment. Can you just go? Wow, I don't like that guy. Pathetic. What the heck? All right. Interesting what thing to. Prize brat. But yeah. why did he carve that into a tree? Either he's a die-hard rock fan, or there's more to that symbol than meets the eye. Yeah. What a... I don't care for him. Let's see if anybody's home. Last time... Well, home. Whatever. Last time we came in here, we couldn't do anything. But now that he said that he wants to talk to Ryan... Maybe there'll be someone here. Maybe. Or... Oh. Okay. Ryan! Yes? Uh. Detective Inspector Jenks, I'm conducting an investigation in the area. Wouldn't mind asking you a few questions, is that all right? <sighs> Come in, Inspector. Thank you. Thank ya. <laughs> he looks so shocked. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Drink, Inspector. I'd better not, eh? Hmm. So you wanted to speak to me? I believe that uh, Kate Vine was a student at Atlas. <laughs> what is that face? Kate Vine? Well, yes, she was. All of this has been thoroughly investigated, Inspector. It was suicide. Well, we have reason to believe there may be rather more to it than that. Really? Then, in that case, I'd be prepared to assist in any way possible. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's start at the top. I believe the last time you saw Kate Vine was at the pub last Friday. Then you came straight back with some of the students, is that right? Uh, yes, I like to have a glass of port or two after a long day and <laughs> benefits of being married to the landlady How did uh, she seem that night? The landlady? Kate <laughs> Oh, Kate uh, <laughs> Well, she was her usual self, drunk That was usual It was for her, yes I mean, it didn't impair her ability though She was a very bright star, lots of potential, very enthusiastic So she seemed to be enjoying the course Well, as far as anybody could tell, yes When did you first meet her? Uh, when she joined, about three months ago. And you hadn't met her before then? No. So you didn't suspect there was anything wrong? Well, do you mean, did I expect her to drown herself? Of course I didn't inspect her. Oh, that's been an awfully blunt. It was quite a shock. Nobody expected that. Have you seen this before? Not that I recall. You don't know whether Kate had lost this or not. Uh, uh, no, I've, I've never seen it before. Sorry. All right. That wasn't very helpful. 
He's more talkative than James, but he's not particularly forthcoming with information. <laughs> Does Simon Thompson ride a bike, do you know? I think so, yes. I, th I think he drives as well, but I might be mistaken. All right. Yes. How about the screwdriver? Um, you wouldn't know about the bottles. How do you know you wouldn't know about the Have bottles? you tried Simon's homebrew? Does he make homebrew? <laughs> no, I haven't had the pleasure. Sorry. All right. That wasn't very informative. Uh, do, do, do. Know what this is? Yes. It's a freedom necklace. Uh, it's a symbol that we use on the course. It's supposed to represent freedom from the chains of your ancestry. Have you ever bought one of these? I haven't, but I've seen the students wearing them. Mm hmm. Okay, so he's probably not that, um, not so secret admirer, like she said. What do you know about the broken window? At Unless the back he's of lying. Oh, uh, Rebecca told me about it. I don't know how it got smashed, though. I told her to tape over it. We can't have anybody cutting themselves. You have to be very health and safety conscious these days. <laughs> and I know she said that um, Kate and Emma were having an argument because Emma was having an affair with Ryan, I believe she said, and Kate was going to blackmail. But then she said that she had that necklace was given to her by an... Uh, not so secret admirer apparently an unwanted admirer so I don't think it was him especially since he said that he didn't he hadn't bought one so uh, let's try this one can you tell me about this <laughs> haven't seen that for a while I had a friend who used to make them for us for the course he passed away last year what does the uh, symbol mean uh, it's borrowed from paganism. It's the symbol of the triple goddess, the mother, maiden, and crone, represented by the waxing and waning of the moon. Uh, it's an ancient symbol. It predates Christianity. Some people say that it dates back to Paleolithic times. And is that uh, relevant to the course? Well, no, no, no. I mean, it, it's no. a symbol we, we've no, dealt no, no. with, but it's not particularly relevant. We don't use it on the course, no. All right. So, no to that. Okay, this one. Do you know anything about an argument in the pub last Friday? What time? I believe it wasn't long after the pub opened. No. I usually leave for the manor house about six. Uh, I start preparations around 6.30. I like to get a head start. What about these? Have you seen one of these before? I believe that uh, looks like a scrying mirror to me. You have seen one before? Hmm. Well, I, I, I used to have one myself, actually, along with lots of other bits and pieces of that nature. Silly things, you know. Really? Yes, I, when I was in my teenage years, <laughs> I had quite an obsession with that kind of thing. I, uh, I was a very somber child, and well, not that you could tell, always playing fantasy games, reading books about that kind of malarkey, you know. What sort of books did you read? Well, uh, books on black magic, not the chocolates. Um, witchcraft, satanic rituals, that kind of thing. I, I grew out of it, of course. But you're not into that sort of thing now. <laughs> of course I'm not. Uh, I mean, I don't need to believe in the supernatural, Inspector. The natural world is far more interesting. Don't you think so? Hmm... I feel like that was all one big line, but okay. Tell me about this. Ah, it's, uh, it's the first one we ever had made. We had it designed by an agency after we'd spent weeks trying to trying to find a name for this place. It took you weeks? I don't like that, Inspector. Mm. I thought it was a rather grand name. Actually, if I'm being honest, I plucked it out of thin air one night in the George while I was having a few gin and tonics. Well, actually, somebody left a book and I stole it. Hmm. If I did this, would that mean anything to you? It's a devil sign, isn't it? Is that what you're getting at, Inspector? 
This is not something you use on the course. Of course it's not something we use on the course, Inspector. I don't even know what that could possibly mean, exactly. Hmm. Fishy, fishy, fish. Thank you. <laughs> Probably be back later. Well... Where do we want to go? That's the woods. I don't think there's anything over there anymore. But who knows? No. Oh. Who the hell are you? What are you? Private eye? <laughs> uh, no, I'm a police inspector. Who are you looking for? I'm investigating a death in the village. That student, then. They did one last year, too. Same place. Wait, what? what? Drowned a student. Ask that psycho about it. He runs that business cult thing up at the, the big house. Wow. <sighs> Bunch of nut jobs. <clears throat> uh, uh, hey, uh, what was the student's name? Liam something. Or sod. No, right? Atlas's reputation precedes them. I think I might call the station. Find yeah. A bit more about this Liam. So there's been more than one person drowned out here? Hello, DCI John speaking. Mike, uh, it's Jenks. Oh, Jenks, I thought you'd clocked off tonight. Yeah, the chief's put me on a case tonight, the Edenton girl. Friday night, you poor sod. I thought that was sorted out anyway. I wish it was. Listen, are you near a computer? Uh, I can't be. Yeah, go on. Do you know anything about a death last year? Someone called Liam in Edenton Village? Uh, I don't remember it. Hang on, let's have a look. Edenton Village. Uh, yeah, Liam Rogers. That's suicide last year. Suicide? Mm. Hang on, two suicides in two years, both on Edenton. Finally, you've got your work cut out, Jenksy. Yeah. Don't I know it. Right, well, good luck with that. See you Monday. Thanks, Mike. Well... That's definitely interesting, isn't it? Uh, where the hell am I? I'm on. A few more questions, if you don't mind. Let's see, what else? If I did this... Would it mean anything to you? <laughs> no. Why? It's okay. Thanks. If I did this, would it mean anything to you? What do you know about a student called Liam committed suicide last year? Um, only that I didn't know him really well. All right. That wasn't very helpful. Ah, uh, that's all for the moment. Thank you. Simon. There you go. Come on. Cute. What are you cooking? Time for dinner. Smells nice. What is that? Uh, chili pork. I oh, have no idea you were a cook. Oh, no, no, I used to. Used to be more into it. No, I don't do it so much. Used to grow my own herbs and everything. Not here? Uh, no. Uh, at the farmhouse where I used to live. Well, where was that? That's where James lives. Yeah, what? we used to share a house together. The farmer used to let us use a corner of his greenhouse to grow stuff. I didn't know you knew James that well. Well, didn't really get on. Where are the greenhouses? Well, it's just through the farmyard at the back. Interesting. Hmm. Maybe we need to go check out the uh, farmhouse again. If I did uh, this, would that mean anything to you? <laughs> Who did you see doing that? Someone in the woods, carving it into a tree. That was Kyle. It, it's a guy from the course. He's an idiot. And where does he live? 
Yeah, I can't he's remember. a brat. Somewhere outside the village. The three fingers thing is something the students started doing. It's something from the course. The uh, the three freedoms. The what? Mm. The three freedoms. It's from the course. It's um, a phrase. Free to be free. Free yourself from the things that are holding you back, right? Uh, things that stop you being successful. What are they? There's uh, uh, fear of failure, uh, guilt, and uh, a doubting, uh, a self-doubt. You believe that? Yeah. Guilt ruins lives. It stops you looking forward. It, it serves no practical purpose. It's basically destructive. Mm. Right. Free to be free. Not the most original slogan, but no. I wonder how far this freedom goes. What do you know about Liam? Liam? Local lad. Took his life. Oh, that Liam! Mm. Yeah, yeah, I heard about him. But you didn't know him? No, I... I know he went to college, but... didn't really know him. The sad, though... Oh, Be good, back good, later good, on, good. if that's okay. We need to be free. Do I need to ask Emma about that? A few that? more questions, if you don't mind. While I'm here. Do you know the phrase, free to be free? Yeah. It's an Atlas thing. I first heard it when I went with Simon. What did they say about it? They said that you shouldn't feel guilty if you do something wrong. I don't agree with that. No? Me neither. No. No, I think you should feel guilty if you do something wrong. What did uh, Simon think? I don't know, but I don't think he agreed with that either. Mm, I think you should ask okay, Simon that's about it that. Now. Thank you. Mm, okay. So greenhouses. Don't mind me. I'm a. Uh... Simon mentioned another greenhouse on the farm. Must be up the hill over there. Must be up there. Go up further. Ooh. Magnifying glass. Let's go. I wonder if James knows this is here. Don't know what it is, but it'd be interesting to see what he says about it. Okay. I have a couple questions for you, James. Uh, this way. Me again. If that's okay. Right. So let's ask them about this. Ever seen one of these? Seen them around college. What do you know about it? Not much. It's a business course. Ask Simon. He's on it. You wouldn't be interested in that sort of thing. <sighs> and you haven't discussed it with Simon. Not really. Business doesn't interest me. But this one. If I did that, would it mean anything to you? Yeah. It's a Satanism symbol. Satanists use it. Have you ever seen anyone using it? <laughs> Lots of people. Politicians, presidents, CEOs. Have you ever seen anyone local <laughs> using it? Not that I remember. Local. Okay. Uh, did you know Liam? Liam who? Liam who died. You mean Liam who killed himself? Yeah. He was in my year on a different course. What course was Liam on? Can't remember, not mine. What was yours? Plant science. 
First time I knew about Liam was when he killed himself. Right, yeah. so you didn't meet him? No. James is not the most helpful person. Ever hear the phrase, free to be free? Heard anyone use that? No. Nah. What is it, a song? No, I don't think so. Doesn't matter. All right, Could Mr. you tell Plant, me dude. what these are, please? I found them in the greenhouse. Be snooping around on the farm, have we? It's called yep. investigating, James. Yeah. It's just mint. Mint leaves. For cooking. Yeah, I, uh... I heard you were a bit of a budding chef. Dabble a bit. Won a few competitions. Very impressive. So you normally just leave packets of mint lying around? Must have dropped it. Sure. I think I believe you. I don't think that's mint. But I can't prove okay. otherwise. Probably be back later. Who else can we go pester? Let's go in here. Press the bell. A few more questions, please. Thank you. Uh, do, do, do. Yep, let's pick up where we left off, I guess. Have you seen one of these before? Is it meant to be black like that? I think so. No. But this. What do you know about this? It's an advertisement. They had it designed by an agency, I think. And when was that? Last year sometime. Mm, okay. If I did this, would that mean anything to you? Why, is it meant to mean something? No, no, it's okay. What do you know about Liam? You mean Liam who took his life? He used to play in a band, Black Rock or something? No, Black Stone. Um, very gothic. I used to let them play in here sometimes at the weekends. They were quite good. Did you know there was anything wrong? I mean, why he might have... No, I, I didn't know him very well. Well, that's the most forthcoming like, information she's really given us. Uh, this one? Ever heard the phrase, free to be free? Do you mean the Atlas thing? Yes, I have. Know what it means? It means being free of guilt. What do you think about that? You mean, do I think it's a bad thing? Do you? I mean, surely if you have done something wrong... Oh, but that's the point, Inspector. Most people spend their time feeling guilty over nothing, and that's not a good thing. Mm. Do you know what these are? Magic Mint. Where did you find this? Magic Mint. Salvia divinorum. I used to grow it years ago. It makes you trip. In what way? It's a hallucinogenic. And legal. Quite a dangerous combination, really. Do you use it? <laughs> Me? No. <laughs> no, I don't even take medicines. I, um, I like to stay pure. I didn't expect Rebecca to know about growing drugs. I know she claims not to oh. use them herself, but I'm not so sure. That's interesting. Thank you. Probably be back later. James, I think you lied to me. I need to go speak to James. That's not the right thing. Give me the map. Yes, go over here. Why is everybody lying to me? Ask you a couple more things. It's all damn town look guilty. Ever heard of Salvia Divinorum, James? What's that? Skin cream? It's not a skin cream, no. It's a plant. Really? Don't know much about plants. So you've never heard of Salvia? No. What? Dude, you lied to me. You have a degree in plant science, and you're gonna sit here and say you don't know much about plants. 
Aha. Stop lying to me. So, your degree is in plant science, but you don't seem to know anything about plants. <laughs> well, still got a lot to learn. So you're still saying you've never heard of salvia? Didn't say that. So you have? Maybe. And you do grow it? Yeah, it's legal, why not? What do you do with it? I use it for explorative purposes, meditation. And does this involve anybody else? Why? Do you sell it or give it to anybody else? No. Sure. Yeah, it's just for me, nobody else. And that's the only drug you grow, is it? Feel free to go and look if you want. It's okay, I'll look later. <laughs> the only drug he grows? <laughs> Not sure I believe that, James. Then again, would someone growing illegal drugs bother growing a legal one? Yeah. I feel like, I feel like there's another, another lie here. Traded his herbal tea, but it's for private use? Uh -huh. I wasn't sure that would work. When you say herbal tea, do you mean salvia? Probably. So you traded salvia tea with Simon for his homebrew? So? So why did you say you didn't give salvia to anybody else? Did you give it to anybody else? How many people did you give it to? Did you give it to Kate? No. How about uh. Liam? I didn't have anything to do with him dying, if that's what you mean. So you did give him salvia? Yes, I gave him salvia because he asked for it. But that's not what killed him. Well, he committed suicide, James, because of psychological issues that probably weren't helped by him trying hallucinogenic drugs. He didn't commit suicide. You don't know anything about him. You don't know what happened. OK, so what happened then? Do you even know about Third Eye? Go on. You don't know about Third Eye. If you don't know about Third Eye, you know nothing about Liam's death. I mean, forget salvia. Fine, tell me then. Third Eye was a cult. We had our very own psycho cult operating right here from our village hall. And I got rid of them, single-handed. Wow. I'm the one who got rid of Third Eye. Did they tell you that at the station? Okay, okay, start again. They were what? You don't know anything, do you? Look. They were reeling in students, pretending to be some sort of happy life course, you know, we can make your life better sort of crap. Then they were putting everyone through this brainwashing program to make them compliant and selling them on. It's all there. What do you mean, selling them on? Selling them. Like objects, commodities. What? To who? To anyone who could afford them. Top politicians, famous celebrities, wealthy businessmen, you name it. What for? You don't get it, do you? Third Eye were making and selling slaves. They were black market slave traders. They were wiping people's personalities using ECT, brainwashing, cocktails of hard drugs, deliberately turning them into perfect slaves. You know how much slaves are worth on the black market these days? No. Millions. And I'm talking per slave. That's why anyone who stood up to them and threatened to go public like Liam was just killed off. They didn't give a damn. So you're saying Liam was murdered by Third Eye? Exactly what I'm saying. That's why I started looking into it. <laughs> They were all saying it was suicide, but there's no way. So, did you ever actually meet Liam? I found out about him. And how did you find out about all this other stuff? Well, it's obvious, you can tell. I met some of the students. You could see straight away there was something wrong. They were like zombies. And uh -huh. I could tell when someone's got ECT damage or when they've been through mind conditioning. It's just obvious. I mean, it's US military obvious. used all these techniques back in the 50s. It's all documented, you can read about it. They showed all the same signs. So, did you ever actually go to a meeting? No, but I knew what went on. How? From what people said who'd been through it. Okay, so do you know anyone I could speak to who did go through it? Well, no. <laughs> Look, it doesn't matter. Why did they close down if it wasn't true? They just closed down and disappeared overnight after I put all the flyers up. Bit of a coincidence. But that was just after Liam died. Yeah. 
And do you think that had anything to do with it? Maybe, but but it was the flyers that forced them to close. <sighs> okay. Uh. Do you mind if I keep this? Yeah, you investigate. It'll all come out. Third Eye definitely killed Liam. Well, that was a lot to take in. Does James really yeah. believe all this stuff? This is the first I've heard about Third Eye. Question is, what's their connection with Atlas, if there is one? Do not join this dangerous cult. Do not join. That's all for the moment. Thank you. Huh. Well, that's the most talkative he's been. Let's see. Uh, let's just use the map. I'm gonna get lost. So Ryan. Just a few more questions, again. if you don't mind. Okay, let's go here. What can you tell me about Liam? Oh, Liam. You mean the boy who committed very unfortunate, isn't it? Did you know him? Oh, yes, yes. Well, well, I say know him. I met him in the pub. Seemed very happy sort of person. Well, I say he seemed happy. He can't have been, can he? <laughs> uh... Can you tell me a bit about the phrase, free to be free? <laughs> free to be free, my favourite motto. Well, we teach our students that people, uh, well, they suffer from excessive guilt, don't they? Excessive self-criticism, excessive doubt. Evils of excess, we call them. <laughs> and we tell our students that if they rid themselves of these evils, then they're free to realise their full potential. Who came up with all this? I have a background in psychology. Honestly. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, don't look so surprised, Inspector. Uh, there's an intellect lurking in here. When did you come he up with the phrase? He did look very, very surprised. Uh, when we were based at the village hall. Uh, when I say we, I came up with the phrase, uh, dance more the money man. And very successful at it too, I hear. Oh, he's successful. Uh, but he's not a creative man. Dad suffers from a, a lack of imagination. Hmm. Do you know what this is? Looks like uh, chopped tea bags to me. <laughs> what is it? I just thought you might know. I don't know anything about plants, Inspector. What you should do is ask Rebecca. She knows far more about these things than I do. Uh, messy things. <laughs> <laughs> Growing things. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Rebecca knew. I'm a little surprised you don't, but... Have you ever heard of Salvia Divinorum? No. Yeah. Um, what is it? It's a hallucinogenic plant. A legal one. At least for the moment. I've no interest in drugs, Inspector. My job. That's the only drug I need. As trite as that may sound. Do you know any students who may have used hallucinogens? No. No, my students aren't interested in that kind of thing. Besides, no one is allowed drugs or alcohol onto the site. I don't think anyone has Why are you drinking? drugs to Atlas. Do you have any medicines on site at all? No, we're not allowed insurance purposes. No. What do you know about this? Not much. So you've never seen this before? You don't know anything about Third Eye? Well, I don't remember seeing it, now. You don't recognise any of the symbols on it? No, oh, sorry. I don't remember seeing the flyer. He used to be, like, really into this stuff, though. Where did he say that? Look at that! Look at the symbol! Then look at this. You can tell me that. Okay, where is it? Let's try that, and then you don't recognize the symbols. Do the same freaking thing. Uh -huh. 
Brian, you've just told me all about the moon symbols on the mask. Then you're claiming you don't know anything about the symbols on the flyer. It's all the same thing. I know. Oh, oh, actually, yes. Sorry, yes. I, yes, I do remember that. So what did you know about Third Eye? Oh, uh, not much, really. Never came into contact with them. Uh-huh. Wow. The explanation was way too short. Ryan's definitely hiding something. Never came into contact earlier. Uh, he never came into contact? Aha! According to the flyer, this third eye group was based at the village hall, is that right? Yeah. I mean, also, every Friday that's where you were based, wasn't it? Um, yeah, you said you invented the Atlas phrase free to be free while you were based at the village hall. So I did. So you must have come into contact with Third Eye at some point. You were using the same hall. Well, I'm afraid I haven't been entirely honest with you, Inspector. Well, I've gathered Go. that. You see, Third Eye... Third Eye is, or was, Atlas under a different name. Sorry. Uh -huh. Atlas is Third Eye. In a new improved form, yes. And you ran Third Eye. With Dad, yes. So you must have known Liam. You didn't just meet him, did you? Yes, I knew him, Inspector, but don't get your hopes up. All of this has been thoroughly investigated and cleared up. You've been investigated about his death? They dropped the case. We didn't have anything to do with it. Well, when I say drop the case, I mean, a police investigation is one thing, but what the public thinks is another. They threatened to go public, and then James Bloody Wilson started distributing his flyers, mm. and that was it. No choice. There's an end to it. You had to change the name. We'd already paid the family an out-of-court settlement. I thought that was an end to it. But then James and his cronies, they wouldn't leave it alone. So we had to close down, buy a new place, Rebrand, so eventually we reopened here. As Atlas? As Atlas. Uh -huh. And it worked? Uh, up till now, yes. So you knew James Wilson too? We knew James, but he didn't know us as such. Oh, he was very quick to shoot us down, but he didn't do anything like actually coming to the course to see what he was about. So James wouldn't know that you were now running Atlas? Not unless he came to one of our courses. And how much of all that stuff was true? ECT machines, brainwashing. <laughs> I'm afraid that that exists only exclusively in the mind of Mr. Wilson. All we do is make better business people. We challenge their prejudices and presumptions. Why don't you come along and see for yourself the course starts in I don't really minutes. like this guy. Excuse me, Inspector. Hello. I can't come back now. Well, you have my car at the moment. All right. All right. See you later. Uh, that was that. I, I, I have to go back. You can come and meet him if you like. Well, I might come and have a chat. Oh, have yay. 8 p.m. honest dad's a great businessman but he lacks imagination he does however believe in the power of the individual when taught by the right teacher of course ryan in here just coming he's through here huh. what does that look to whom do i owe the pleasure detective inspector jenks i'm investigating a death in the village I believe you knew Kate Vine. Oh, I thought all this was dealt with, Inspector. You do know that Kate Vine was a gherkin short of a big mad. Wow. You do now. Father. You must forgive my son, Inspector. He still can't summon up the courage to come straight to the point. So wow. what do you want to know? 
Well, a few more questions, if you don't mind. Oh, but I do mind. I'm a very busy man. Try asking an intelligent question. Like, do I mind being quizzed about a once promising student who turned into a useless drunk? Ryan, would you mind leaving us for a while? I'll go back to the centre. I have uh, one or two things to prepare. Um, call me if you need me dead. You may begin, Mr. Holmes, although I'm not going to be able to help you. I don't have much to do with the course nowadays, so I can't give you any hard information. That's as maybe, but we No, need... that's as is. He's a pleasant person. But if you want my opinion, I'd be quite happy to give it to you. So, uh, far away. Okay. Thank you. Wow. Wow, Paul He's certainly doesn't the... take any prisoners. It's obvious who's pulling the strings in this family. And I'm I wonder joke. what they got up to in their previous guise as third eye. Eight o'clock already. Mm. How well did you know Kate? Hardly knew her at all. I met her a few times. But the cause, that's about all. So when was the last time you saw her? Last uh, Friday. I just popped out of the course and, uh, about seven. Did you speak to her then? It's possible. And how did she seem? Was she happy, sad, preoccupied? She was drunk. All right. Do you know if Kate had lost this? It's her driving licence. How would I know that? You didn't see it lying around anywhere? No. He's so pleasant. Did you know anything about Simon Thompson's bike? No. Okay. <laughs> Ever tried Simon's homebrew? Simon Thompson? No, I haven't. I wouldn't touch anything that has had Simon's fingers in it. Yeah. Have you seen this Wait, before? we've been showing the card to everybody. Looks familiar. Where did you find it? It was uh, in the woods. Presumably had something to do with Kate or her killer. Well, that's what I'm trying to establish. Shouldn't it be in an evidence bag, Inspector, in case of contamination? I didn't have one with me, unfortunately. Well, don't go testing it for DNA, will you? It's got yours all over it. Wow. He didn't really answer my question, though, did he? What do you know about this? It's a freedom necklace. It's a symbol we use um, sometimes on the course. Little bird in cage flying away. Um, freeing themselves from their past is the analogy. So do they get them when they join the course or something? No, no, no. Not as a rule. I think I bought one once as a present. Oh, not uh, for Kate, oh. by any chance. <laughs> no, not for Kate. I can't really remember who it was for. A birthday present, maybe for one of the students. Which student? I have no idea. Was it Emma? Let's see. What do you know about this? Looks like a mask. You don't recognize it? Not particularly. Looks like a monarch mask. What's a monarch mask? Monarch is a fancy dress. Outfitters. Ryan goes there sometimes. Mm. What did you hear about an argument in the pub last Friday? I didn't go to the pub last Friday. You didn't hear anything about an argument in the pub? Should I have? No, that's fine. This guy's really getting under my skin. I don't like him. Have you ever seen one of these before? I believe it's a scrying mirror, pagan thing. Ever used one? Why would I use a scrying mirror? So you have no interest at all in this sort of thing? No. Does the Atlas course use them at all? Well, not at all. Strange question.
Could you tell me a bit about this? Had it designed by an agency. Hmm. And when was that? Last year. Is that when you started the business? Yes, I suppose so. Was it really? But third eye. You gonna lie to me too? Everyone's been lying to me. Why not you? If I did this, would it mean anything to you? I presume you've seen an Atlas student doing that. Ah, so this is an Atlas thing. Well, it wasn't exactly our idea. The students started doing it spontaneously to show commitment to the cause. Cute, really. Which student did you see doing that? I'm not sure, but he was carving it into a tree. I told him to stop. Did you really? Why? Defacing public property. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. What's the punishment for that kind of thing nowadays? Prison sentence? Oh, uh, it's usually a fine. All right. What about defiling public liberty? Does that carry a fine too? Oddly enough, the student in question argued a similar point. Is that something you encourage on the Atlas course? We encourage people who put ideas first and moral anachronisms second. The problem with the law, Inspector, is that it's out of date. Well, I suppose that's a matter of opinion. However, you still respect it. Respect it? I abide by it. We all play by the book, Inspector, but that's only because of the threat of possible incarceration. Oh. <laughs> I really do like this guy. Okay. Uh, this one? How well did you know Liam? Liam who? Liam who took his life. Oh. Well, as far as I remember, he was a good student, confident, outgoing. You didn't notice any problems? I believe he had problems at home. Were you there when he died? Yes. And afterwards? You didn't see him after the meeting? No. What was Liam like that night? No. Apart from being drunk, or possibly because of that, he seemed perfectly happy. He was drunk? Well, I assume the bottle in his hand contained whiskey and not lemonade. Hmm. Lots of similarities to Kate, don't you think? Drinking, depression, is that normal for the students? People come into the Atlas course for quick solutions to their problems. And when they don't get them as quickly as they might have liked, sometimes their impatience gets the better of them. I want to catch this guy in a lie. Can you tell me a little about the Atlas phrase, free to be free? Where did you hear that? I was talking to one of your students. It's a little phrase we conjured up to summarise our objectives. Why does what it matter where I heard that? What is your objective, if you don't mind me asking? Mine? Or do you mean the course's objective? On the course. The objective of the course is to free people from bondage. We teach that most people are crippled by their past, by guilt, their attitudes, their beliefs. All that kind of nonsense. Guilt cripples people. Feeling guilty in business is like a meat eater feeling guilty in an abattoir. Guilt comes from the archaic emotional centers of the brain. It's a vestige of our animal ancestry, that's all. In business, you heed it at your peril. I'm sorry, Inspector, my house appears to be haunted. Would you mind closing the door? Uh. So, you believe that guilt has no place in business? None at all. I have few beliefs, Inspector, but that's one of them. And what if you have done something wrong? <laughs> well, that's the whole point. Guilt has nothing to do with it. Hmm. Interesting opinion. Oh, that's it's interesting. Yeah, well, that's one word for it. Know what this is, by any chance? I've no idea. Gardening isn't my kind of thing. Rebecca would probably know. I presume you've met Rebecca. Yes, I have. I'm sure she'd enjoy telling you what it is. She's the kind of woman who likes to feel superior. Would probably marry a millionaire and then decide to run her own pub. Yes, why was that? Well, 
She isn't exactly housewife material. She likes to be in control, like Raya. Shame, isn't it, that I'm in control of both of them? Ugh. I'm trying to think of one thing he said that hasn't made me go... Have you ever heard of Salvia Divinorum, or Magic Mint? Sounds like it might be a drug. It's a hallucinogenic plant. Legal, as a matter of fact. I'm not a drug taker, Inspector. I have no enthusiasm for voluntarily poisoning your brain. And you've never seen anyone on the course taking it? Well, if someone had, they wouldn't have done it openly. We don't allow drugs or alcohol in our course. We like to tell students that success is the best drug. Whether you buy uh, into that, of course, is another matter. I'll come back to that, but I... Uh... What do you know about this? So you've been graced with Goebbels' company already, have you? James, our local minister for propaganda. I suppose Ryan already told you about our actual previous incarnation. He explained, yes. Did he tell you anything scandalous? Not unless you count the suicide. Well, these things happen. Was it your idea? The suicide? Third eye. Yeah, I suppose it was. Yeah. As my son had started to atrophy, I decided I ought to give him something to do. And Third Eye was the same as Atlas, teaching business skills. Very similar. So Liam's death didn't prompt you to make any changes? There was nothing we could do about Liam's death, Inspector, any more than we could do anything about Kate's. It was out of our control. You can't blame me for wondering, Paul. Two student deaths in two years? It's called a coincidence, Inspector. I expect they ate fast food also. But you're not investigating all the local chippies, are you? I don't like him. All right, Paul. You don't allow drugs or alcohol on site. However, you saw Liam drinking all night at the uh -huh. seminar. So if you don't allow drink or drugs onto the site, why did you allow Liam to drink whiskey all night? Mm-hmm. Well, we did give him various warnings. Did try to stop him, but uh, didn't work. But you let him stay on the course? Yeah, well, we couldn't throw him out. This isn't a primary school, Inspector. No, We're what's the point in saying you don't allow it? these rules. If they pay their fees, they're entitled to stay on the course. And what if they want to take drugs? As long as they do it with discretion, frankly, I don't care if they want to wipe or inject paint stripper all over their faces. Do you store any alcohol at Atlas? No. Is there a kitchen? Why, do you want to go down there and check? Well, obviously you wouldn't mind if what you're saying is true. Of course I wouldn't mind. It's past the lavatories down the corridor, but you won't find any drugs in there or alcohol. Whether I find alcohol at Atlas or not, it probably isn't particularly relevant. But it's worth a look anyway. Hmm. All right. Be back later on, if that's okay. I get the feeling I might be seeing a lot of Paul tonight. Um, unfortunately. I don't like that. Ah, uh, well, on that note, yay. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and end that here. Uh, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out uh, with some more contradiction. Um, I still don't really know. I don't, I'm not really pointing the finger at anybody in particular. I know that I hate Paul. Uh, probably more than anybody else that I've met so far. Really, really don't like him. Uh, he's kind of awful. So, yeah. But does that mean he actually murdered someone? Hmm. No, it just means I hate him. But yeah, thank you guys so much for coming and hanging out. Uh, as always, if you enjoyed the video, if you wouldn't mind dropping a like and subscribe, that always makes my day and it really helps out the channel a lot. Uh, I also have a Discord in case anybody wants to come hang out. 
I usually post what on there whenever I have any new videos go up. And yeah, as always, please take care and I will catch you next time.